Yes, my people, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Stephen Fazekas is here, and I am doing a slightly different one today. I'm in prep, this is peak week. We're going into the British finals with five days out as of time of recording. And this video is gonna be about breaking down the cost of prep. Now, this is something that massively gets overlooked, and I think it's genuinely something that everybody needs to take into consideration when it comes to making the decision to step on stage. Financially, there's a huge implication, and we're gonna break it down. I've basically totally totaled it back from the 26th of March, right? So the 26th of March till now, so we've got April, May, June, July, four months exactly. So by the time we step on stage, it'll be four months exactly, okay? So, food and drink. Total amount, 2,310 pounds. Now, that is, any, any amount of money spent in Audi, in uh, coffee shops, in any restaurant or anything that's associated to food and drink within my styling app. So I'm actually trusting my bank app quite a bit here, right? Because fuck going through the individual transactions. But 2,300 pound, right? <laughs> Over the course of four months. So if you break that down on a weekly average, 144 pounds a week. <laughs> Everyone thinks, oh, protein's expensive. Nah, bro. The killer is the veg. So, £144 a week. But, food and drink, done. Gym. So, I've got two gym memberships, so you can technically half this if you've got one. £292 spent since the 26th of March in gym memberships. Okay? Not too bad. £300. That's all right. Standard. Competition-related transactions. So, this is hotels, Airbnbs, tan, show fees, registration fees, etc., etc., £1,000 and I've probably undersold that because I'm not factoring in petrol for travel. I'm not there, right? So that is hotels, registration for shows, memberships for shows, tanning, veating, because veat, yeah, to veat me, I need four packs. Every single time I've veated myself, that's about £50 worth of veat, right? Because veat's about £12 a pop. Now, the juicy one, PDs, drugs. Now, I'm gonna break this down to two. So drugs and supplementation, on the counter supplementation that I get from Elite Subs. Drugs, 2,250 pound since the 26th of March. That is no fucking joke. Let me put a caveat to that. I'm not a first time bodybuilder. So if you are a first time bodybuilder, which is this, which is this, this is really designed to help first time bodybuilders entering their first show. You will not be spending £2,250. <laughs> and if you are, really question who the fuck you're buying it from because that is extortionate. Um, obviously, my cycle is pretty... I would say my cycle is like 14 compounds deep. So we've got your ancillaries, you've got your actual injectables, you've got the growth hormone. The growth hormone takes the majority of it. Um, so if you take growth hormone out, you're probably reducing about 750 £800 of it. Um, so yeah, 2,250 pounds. Again, quite a substantial amount of money. Supplements to counteract that. So your support max, your sleep management, um, your heart health control, your liver stack, your multivitamins, all that sort of stuff. 1,200 pounds since the 26th of March. If you're going to invest money into performance enhancing drugs, you have to invest money into protecting the organs that you have. Because guess what, my people? You only have one set of organs, right? No one gives you another heart unless you are incredibly fortunate. You have two lungs, you have two kidneys, you have one liver, you have one heart, and you have one brain. So please, my friends, look after them. Because guess what? You can't go to the shop, you can't go to Tesco's, yeah, and be like, oh, boss, man, let me grab a brain from the shelf, yeah? That's not how it works, big man. It's not how it works, yeah? So look after it. Look after it, yeah? And look, by looking after it as well, it's not just a case of doing supplements. Make sure your stack design is right, right? So get a coach. And if you're struggling, message me, fill the link out, drop an application form. I'm taking on new clients. So if you are struggling, particularly with the problem of the drug side of things, I got you covered, my Gs. Don't stress it. Content creation. I'm an online coach. I run a business. So my content creation bill is going to be higher than most. Since the 26th of March, £3,785. Right? That's a good wage for you, brother. Fair play. <laughs> I would say 
If you don't run a business, if, if bodybuilding is a hobby, this will be significantly less. However, it probably will come to around about a thousand pound if you're gonna do a photo shoot, if you're gonna buy stage photography photos, if you're gonna do a video surrounding uh, any sort of promo content, any sort of training content. Because the standard price for most videographers these days is anywhere sort of between 250 and 450. So anytime that you wanna hire someone, you're looking at anywhere between 250 and 450 from my knowledge. With that being said, the total amount is quite substantial. The total amount for this prep has been 10,845 pounds. Yeah, that's it really, 10,845 pounds is how much I've spent on prep related stuff. Now I'm not including travel, I'm not including little miscellaneous pieces of transactions that may be related to bodybuilding, may be related to XYZ because I haven't got time for that quite frankly. I've just kind of gone and skimmed through my bank statements. Um, so yeah, 11 grand. My closing statement to this is, if you're gonna invest in bodybuilding, be prepared to invest financially. Not just your time, not just sacrificing what you need to sacrifice to get to where you need to get to, but also on a financial level, it's gonna cost you money. It's not gonna cost you as much as me, right? Because the majority of my bill is content creation, but the largest amount of money that comes from the list is the content creation. However, you still take that away, that's still seven and a half bags, right? Now that's seven and a half bags, that's pretty necessary transactions. I'm not gonna lie, over a, over a four month period. So obviously I make these decisions particularly with Ed and particularly around my content creation based off of my income, right? So I'm not saying go and spend 10 bags on a fucking prep. If you don't have that money and if you don't have the facilitation to make that investment, then don't fucking do it. I'm not saying you need to be me and spend 11 bags over four months, right? Because quite frankly, I probably didn't need to spend that much, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna be sat on my deathbed going, oh my God, I can't believe I spent 11,000 pounds during that prep in 2022 because there's more to life than that, my jeans, right? Simple as that. So take away that, you take away the the, um, the content creation, you're looking at about 7,000, say say we look at 8,000 pounds, right? So you're looking at two grand a month. So two grand a month is pretty standard, I'm not gonna lie, because don't forget, you're not gonna be going out, you're not gonna be socializing, you're not gonna be partying, you're not gonna be doing events, that would cost you X amount of money, right? So you've got to factor that in. I haven't been out, I haven't sipped a drop of alcohol for pretty much since my birthday. So 26th of March is my birthday. So since my birthday, I've not drank any any alcohol. That's probably, I mean, not that I'm a big drinker anyway, but that, that that's gonna, gonna change your financial implications quite a bit. So yeah, man, that is it. That is literally it. £10,870 or whatever the fuck it was. Wowza. So, considerations for prep. Financial investment is a very big, integral part of bodybuilding. Be prepared to make it or you will fall short and you will stress yourself out because I know that money is a big part of life and it makes the world go round. So, if you don't have enough money, then don't go, don't go into a prep. Right, simple as that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Nice and simple one. We have a lot of content coming. We have a lot of content coming. We've got um, Ed's with me in a couple of days time. He's then also with me on Saturday for the show. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot of content coming and I'm really excited to show you guys the package that we're gonna present because it's very, very different to the one that we had in MK Classic. And quite frankly, it's never been a motivation of mine at all to really get involved in anyone. But a lot of people have been doing a lot of this talking, talking nonsense about me. Well, say your piece after the 30th of July. And with that being said, fuck off. That's it.